I um, have a very interesting piece of scientific news for you that I guess will upset many of you. Many of you will applaud it. And I'm just, you know, nothing but the facts, man. <clears throat> uh, it's going to pass it on to you. It looks like the holy grail here of scientific and biological research has been met. It looks like we have created Earth, uh, excuse me, life in the laboratory. Now, I was in college. I remember my professor. Ah, what was his name? My professor at Cornell, Professor Valentine. That was all his work was taking a soup of some, uh, you know, nitrogen, uh, some carbs, a little of this. You hit it with a bolt of electricity like lightning. You heat it up. You cool it, trying to create RNA and DNA. Um, and there have been a lot of experiments along these lines because if we can just take primitive chemicals, because we know that primitive chemicals were on the earth and they logically came from, quote, the evolution of our universe, but to get it to the point of life, and uh, it seemed to be quite a step, life really being a self-replicating molecule, DNA. Well, as I say here... Um, this research, the university, uh, this study appears in Nature, for those of you who want more, more detail here. Um, many attempts to synthesize these ribonucleotides have failed, no matter how they combine the ingredients. A little sugar, phosphate's very important, by the way, some nitrogen, etc. But changing the way they mix the ingredients together, it, um, the chemistry worked. From a simple precursor, which we know were present on the Earth um, what they did was, it's when they added the phosphate. Uh, and they actually started with even simpler molecules than probably were in the Earth's primordial ooze. They mixed the molecules in water, they heated it up, allowed it to evaporate, leaving behind a residue of half sugar, half nitrogen. To that residue, they added water, heated it again, evaporated, irradiated it, because you know there's a lot of radiation in the primitive Earth before our atmosphere formed. And at each stage, the molecules got more complex, but in the end, they sprinkled in a touch of phosphate and transformed into ribonucleotides. And, you know, it was Charles Darwin who said that um, the warm little pond, the warm little pond was where life originated. And if the pond evaporated, got heated, and then it rained and the sun shined, that might have done it. And uh, so, as I said, it upsets, it will upset a lot of people because it seems like, well, I don't know, you could say, you know, we needed the hand of God to create the universe in the, in the first place and everything kind of took care of itself, but it doesn't seem you need, you need any, um, any deity to create life given the primitive molecules that were on the earth. All right? Enough of that.